There's so many things, there's so many things that I want to let you guys into my world about. There's so many, there's so many things. I've grown. I have grown, man. I'm here to talk about some upgrades that I've made in my life, some things that I'm doing differently that are making me feel fantastic. Here's one thing, here's one thing that I've done in some time. It's been a long time. I haven't done this in five, six, seven, eight, nine, 14 years. But I'm doing it again and I'm feeling fantastic. You know what I've been doing? I've been lying a lot lately. <laughs> oh, you too? There is nothing like a good lie. Especially when it just works on the first shot. You lie, the person accepts it completely, and you walk away going, lie accomplished. <laughs> My work is done here. <laughs> I'll give you an example of what happened. I was walking down the street recently. I bumped into a guy that I haven't seen in, in many, many years, since back in the day, which was a Wednesday, by the way. I don't know if you know that. That's a little FF fun fact. The day, Wednesday. This guy sees me, oh my God. Whoa, what's up, man? How have you been? He throws a hug on me. What's going on, brother? I haven't seen you in so long, DC. DC, what's up, bro? And I, and I, was, I was a little bit excited to see him, you know? But I turned it up a little bit. I was like, you. You, dude, you. It's you. He's like, bro, check it out, man. I haven't seen you in so long. This Saturday night, I'm having a party and I want you to come to it. And I looked at him and again, I didn't want to be rude. And why go through the whole rigmarole of truth where I look at him and go, I got to tell you, I don't really like you that much <laughs> to come to a party. So instead I went with the lie and I go, wait, wait, wait hold on. Wait, when's the party? And he goes, Saturday night. I go, guess where I'm going to be Saturday night? At your fucking party. And he goes, he goes, yes, I'm psyched, dude. He goes, dude, I'm going to let people know you're coming. I'm going to make some calls and say that DC's coming by the party. I go, you know what? Call him twice because I'm on my way. <laughs> of course, Saturday night comes along and I'm not going to go to the party. I'm not interested in the party. He even gave me directions. He's like, dude, let me write down the fucking directions to my party. And I was like, and I said things like, uh, yeah, let's see those directions. I need to be directed because I need to know where I'm going. Here's the thing too, and you know this, when somebody gives you directions, don't you get so anal about their directions? They give you the directions and the entire time driving, you're just cutting down their directions. Right, you're like this, okay, take a left at the red house. That's fucking maroon, you idiot. <laughs> Why is it this street you're looking for always has a tree from the Mesozoic era growing around the sign? <laughs> you're looking for like Mount Vernon and all you see is like the N and you drive by going, that was probably it. <laughs> you think that was it? That was probably it. There's always the point in the directions that they always write in parentheses. Uh, if you hit the train tracks, you've gone too far. And right when you read that, <laughs> fuck. Back to the lie. <laughs> I don't go to the party. And of course, as fate would have it, who do I see four or five days later? That guy. And here's the thing, he sees me and he makes a beeline right towards me, okay? Can I just stop for a second? Why do you call it a beeline? If it was really a beeline, wouldn't it be this? That's a, <laughs> he made an eye line. It's a lowercase I. I got a little dot on the uppercase. He would have to do this. This has gone on way too far. Way too long. He comes right up to me now. He's disappointed. He's disgruntled. He's another dis word that I don't even know. He looks right at me. He goes, hey. Hey, what's up, man? And I'm like, I'm like, oh, I know I'm caught now. But I look at him, I go, what's going on? You, <laughs> you. He goes, why don't you come by my party, man? 
why didn't you come by my party? I told everybody you were going to be there, and I was really excited about you coming by the party, and so was everybody else. My sick mother came to see you, too. She's in a wheelchair, and it's a rusty wheelchair. It's not even a new one. It's, it, it's hard to even move because of the amount of rust, because she lives near the sea. I said to him, now here's why I go into my, I reach into my pocket and I'm going to pull out another lie. Because <laughs> I've already started lying and now I just have to take this, I have to bash my way through this whole thing with lies, with a lie fest. So what I do, this is what I say to him, I go, I go you know what, oh man, let me tell you something. I was actually on my way to your fucking party and my tire flew off <laughs> and my car flipped into a ravine. That's the key to a good lie. Number one rule, put your life in, in danger. Put your life in peril. It distracts them from their story and it becomes about you and your safety at this point. They'll be like, this, uh, dude, 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 forget the party. Are you all right? No, I'm not all right. I flipped into, it wasn't even a ravine. It was a quarry. I flipped into a quarry. Wow, dude, are you okay? And you know what the thing that sucked? As I was rolling in, I was saying out loud, I'm not gonna make it to this party. People are expecting to see me. <laughs> That's the key to the good lie right there. Just keep putting your life in danger. It was awful, man. It was, my seatbelt, I had it on, and due to the fire, it melted the seatbelt. So what was once a safety harness was now a strap o' death bounding me to my vehicle like coffin, if I can say that. Dude, I'm just glad you're okay. And you think you're out of it. Now, sometimes something bad happens. The person knows you're lying. Sometimes they're hearing you and they've already got the truth in their mind. And that sucks when they call you out. Oh, really? Oh, so, yeah, you flipped into a ravine. You know what, dude? I drove by your house that night. I thought maybe I'll go for old time's sake. I'll drive with DC. I'll give him a ride. And you know what? I went up your front lawn and I went through your bushes and I looked in your fucking window and you were on your couch watching TV. <laughs> I saw you on your couch. You say you were dying in a ravine. Now it's at this point, you know you're caught. But instead of just admitting that you've lied, instead of just tapping out and going, got me, I'm a liar. I have lied. What do we all do? You get angry at that person. You get angry and you start lying more. You say, oh really? Is that what you did? You came by, you looked at my bushes, and you supposedly saw me watching TV? Well, you know what you don't know is I have a fucking hologram of me watching TV. <laughs> to thwart criminals from breaking in. So they look in and go, fuck, he's home watching TV. We gotta go. So screw you, bucko. Ha <laughs> ha.